Richard Southern joins us again. And Richard, house prices in Toronto always makes news around here, but it turns out you might be better off renting. Yeah, I mean, isn't this crazy, Melissa, that rents have actually fallen over the past three months because of the pandemic? Like, when was the last time we talked about rents falling in Toronto? But that's what they've been doing. And the reason is we've seen a large number of apartments, but mostly condos hit the market because COVID-19 has meant, you know, university students have gone home. There's been no immigration. There's been no tourists coming in. The Airbnb market has completely fallen apart. And the end result of this is that, would you believe, renting a condo now costs less than owning one. The average rental price pegged at around 2300 The average cost to carry a, a condo, uh, as far as ownership is, is concerned, is about $3,200. Uh, bucks. So it's really interesting, Melissa, how the situation we're in right now with COVID has kind of upended the rental market and indeed the housing market. It's going to be interesting to see where this goes going forward, but still expensive. I mean, 2300 the average rent, that's nuts, isn't it? That's still a lot of money. I was actually looking at it the other day and I did see a quite a bit of a decrease there, but yeah, 23 is still a lot of money. Yeah, if you're willing to move during the pandemic now, maybe you'll get a, a good deal. For sure. Now, President Donald Trump is known for his battle with Twitter, but now with the social media platform has tagged one of his videos for being fake news. Yeah, Twitter has uh, flagged another one of Trump's tweets that he put out last night. They call this one manipulated. This is a freeze frame of the tweet. It shows a white toddler chasing a black child down the street. It, it, the banner makes it look like it's on CNN. The video says, America is not the problem, fake news is. The problem is, that was fake itself. CNN never aired it. This is the actual video that CNN aired last year. You've probably seen this. It went viral. It shows two toddlers embracing each other. They haven't seen each other in a while. It was a story of friendship. CNN put out a statement saying uh, that, hey, we cover the exact story they said just as it happened, just as we, quote, report your positions on race will continue working with the facts rather than tweeting fake videos that exploit innocent children. That's the statement from CNN. Melissa, this election that's coming up, I think, is going to be it's going to be all about this quote unquote fake news you know what are you believing online what youtube videos are you watching and i think that's going to be like the thing here don't you yeah no absolutely especially after seeing this video put out there by mr that's trump right. now. mainstream media more important than ever i think melissa they're accountable that's my hot take of the night <laughs> absolutely and speaking of trump he just released a video with his son talking about aliens okay so he did an interview trump with his eldest son a total softball interview, as you might imagine, Melissa. So we won't pay too much attention to those softball uh, questions. But this one question did catch uh, my attention from Don Jr. Uh, he said to Trump, quote, before you leave office, will you let us know if there are aliens? Because he says, this is one thing I really want to know. Would you ever open up Roswell and let us know what's really going on? This is what Trump had to say. I won't talk to you about what I know about it, but it's very interesting. I think he understands me well. Okay, so, kind of dangling that over us that maybe he knows something there, Melissa. Hillary Clinton, four years ago, when she was running for president, spoke candidly about this and said, hey, if I get elected, I'm going to open up all these files. So, who knows, Melissa, what's lurking out there? Well, the truth is out there. Thank you so much, Richard. Have a great weekend. Have a good weekend.